I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers. In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can connect to BT's FTTP or full fiber to the premises using PFSense. I've recently had to do it, so I figured I might as well walk through and show you how to do it. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. So, when you have your um, fiber to the premises installed, you basically end up with a little unit like this, an ONT, or optical network terminal. Um, BT fit this onto the wall, and as you can see, the open reach modem plugs directly into it. So we're going to scrap the open reach modem. You don't need to use that. You can plug basically straight from uh, an RJ45 cable on PFSent, and you can go straight into your ONT. You don't need any other equipment. You can just go ahead and connect straight like that. So I'm going to walk through and show you exactly how to configure the connection. It is a PPPoE connection. Now, the only thing that I would note is on um, maybe you need a bit more of a powered device. I tried a PC Engines thing with this, and it just couldn't root at the speeds. I could get it up to about 400 meg, but it wouldn't go much higher than that. I got a device off um, AliExpress, and that routes, that routes at full speed. So let me walk through and show you how to do the connection. Just go ahead and log into PFSense. Um, okay, so this is a basic install of PFSense. If you don't know how to install it, I've got a video on that that I did a couple of days ago, so I'll leave a link at the end of the video to that. Um, so once you've got it set up so you can log into the LAN, what we need to do is go into Interfaces, uh, Assignments. If you've not already added your WAN interface, go ahead and do that. Uh, so then we're going to go into the WAN settings. We need to enable the interface. Uh, description, I'm just going to leave that to one. That's descriptive enough. Uh, IPv4 type. So this is what we want to set to PPoE. So I'll set that to PPPoE. Uh, now the MTU uh, is normally 1500. So we're using a PPPoE. So because it has a 8 byte overhead, we need to check that off. So that's going to be 1492. Uh, the MSS option is basically, uh, I'm not going to go into this, you can Google it and look it up yourself. Um, so uh, MSS is basically MTU minus 40 bytes, so that's going to be 1452. Um, so these are important options, 1492, 1452. You can leave the uh, speed and duplex. So for the username, um, depending on the service you've got, um, if it's a home service that you're using, I'll just copy this. Your username is going to be bthomehub at btbroadband.com uh, and the password will be just bt in capital letters um, and then give it a description so bt ftcp uh, click enable dial on demand so it just stays um, on all the time and we want to block private networks um, so say so this is the important part, depending on which service, whether you're using the business broadband or whether you're using the home broadband. Well, I've got business broadband. So in that case, if you're using business broadband, uh, the username is BT Business Hub at business.btclick.com. And again, the password is just BT in capital letters. Um, and then the settings are the same. So then we can go ahead and save that. Oh, default uh, timeout. So yeah, set your timeout. Where is that? D -d 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 assignment. So set the default timeout to zero, um, which means it'll just stay connected all the time. Let's go ahead and save that. And apply the changes. And that is pretty much it. Um, you won't really need to do anything else. So just... Um, Give it a description, make sure your IPv4 type is set to PPPoE. Uh, I'm not using IPv6 on this. Uh, MTU wants to be 1492, MSS 1452. Username is either btbusinesshub.business.btclick.com um, or it's bthomehub at btbroadband.com. Again, password is BT in capital letters, confirm it. Give your service name, enable dial on demand. Um, set your idle timeout and you're all done. That's basically all you need to do. And that should get you up and running.
And to connect, to check that you're actually connected, we can click this um, related status icon. As you can see, we're um, connected, so we can uh, disconnect or reconnect the WAM. So if we disconnect that, we can reconnect it. Um, that is pretty much it. The only other thing that I'd recommend that you do is go into system uh, routing. Uh, and where the default gateway is set to automatic, go ahead and set that to your one PPOE gateway. Uh, and that it, is it. You're pretty much um, up and running. So I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers. Thank you for watching. If you did find this video useful and it did help you out, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It does help um, with the YouTube algorithms. And don't forget to hit that notifications icon and you'll get notifications of any new videos as they are done. And we've got quite a few um, planned for the future.